Hi guys, gals, everybody. Okay. I got this through the post a little while ago. Yum, yum, yum. Anyway, just readjust my cameras here. Um, anyway, yeah. Let's have a look and see what's inside, shall we? I've got to really move this over here so I don't have to keep looking in the wrong direction. Right. <coughs> this is us. Let's have a little look. Oh, we need the unboxing camera. Right, so. Uh, let's get the right camera. There we go. Right. So, the unboxing camera. We'll just make that a little bit bigger so you can see what's going on here. Right. Shiny. It is. Comes with a couple of adapters as well. And a charging cable. So what it is, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, is one of them. A Mini 1300. Let's just get over here a bit closer so you can see. I'm sure we just pop it down there see it a bit better. There we go. Let's just try a bit of light on the situation. And oh you've got a lovely picture of my webcam right in front of it. So maybe I'll just turn that off. That's better. Right. Very simple. It is a lovely analyzer. My mate James has got the 600 and I thought hmm uh, about time I got one of these things because they are pretty posh. So you just switch it on there. <laughs> in a bit closer so you can see what's going on here there's all kinds of stuff this thing can do a lot more than it needs to probably but so uh, oh, cameras I've got my camera wrapped around my mouse cable so hang on a sec there we go so as you can see lots of different functions on here some of which I have yet to figure out myself this is just an initial look at this piece of kit because it was so pretty I just wanted everybody to know how pretty they are because if you've got a bit of spare donga get one of these especially if you're up like putting up all kinds of crazy antennas and messing around with designs and wires these things are a must okay so you can do single frequency mode Right, where you can just chuck in your frequency. If I remember where, 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 set frequency. So I've got to look down while I'm doing this. So set frequency, then you can put in whatever you want. So let's go to 14. Oh, hang on, I've got to make that a zero, then a one, and then a four, and then we'll go 14, two, seven, zero. All right, okay. And now it will do that. So if I get my loop, because so I've got a loop antenna here, and it would be an N type of course, so just bear with me while I get an N type adapter. SO23928. SO2, I've got millions of N types, but I bet I've never got the one I want. So I need a. Oh, that's funnily enough, there it is. So, okay, so I just needed uh, one of them, and SO239 to one of they. Let's pop that in there, shall we? And the VSWR is already coming down. 2.1. Bearing in mind, this is on a Wellbrook loop, so it's not going to be that perfect be close enough. Let's get this thing to focus nicely. Come on, focus. Doesn't like these lit up screens for some reason. Let's get really close and then back off a bit. There we go. So that's the information you get on that like you know frequency 2.1 if I was to set frequency again, and we'll go this time to, uh, oh, I don't know, 7.1, 7.1, 7.1, 7.1, 7.1, 7.1, 7.1, 7.1, 7.1, 7.1, 7.1, 7.1, 7.1, 7.1, 7.1, 7.1, 7.1, 7.1, 7
Oh, look at that. Yeah, one to one. Well, goodness gracious, oh, it's 87. That's frequency 87, so it's good on the 87. Sorry, I missed that. Should get rid of that zero. Uh, make that a zero. 2.3. Okay, so it's better on the higher frequencies. Hmm. Anyway, that's what that does. And it's jolly good. You press home, you can go to frequency sweep. Which will then sweep loads of the, uh, the whole band. You can set up the bandwidth, and there it goes. And then you can go scan, which is over here, and that will scan that band. And there it goes about two point. Well, there really is 2.2 .2 up the top there. Should say something, no. But you can see the SWR's just over two through the whole uh, the whole 40 meter band. Oh yeah, 2.3 down the bottom. There you go. See. All right. So we come out of that, and we get multi SWR. This is really cool. You can just put in four frequencies, whatever you want. See, look, it's just doing all right there. It doesn't like 300 megs. So if I change that one to all right, 1400, that's fine. Change that one to uh, 1800 and 1. 3.4. So not the greatest SWR, but it is a loop, a receiving loop only, mind you. So if I go up to 144. I won't bother changing the 300, but like, you know, one point for C, we get up to two meters and the SWR is far better. But see, that is a really, really cool function, that is. Really like that. Right, let's go and see what else I have figured out yet. Because I haven't figured out a lot yet. Oh, I hate this camera. Tune SWR is a new one, I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> Oh, it's, for it's got a tone generator on it. Turn that off. SWR, so, you know, it's just basically you tune it up and down. And it'll tell you what the SWR is, I guess. Read the manual! But, like, yeah, other ones I haven't got into using yet is that one, the VNA. So, scan down here. Scanning now. And it's set to uh, it's set to um, 11 meters and below. So no, that one I'm not sure about yet. This is uh, I will um, do another video once I've figured them out. Like but like you know all these different modes. There are, it is slightly different from the 600. I haven't found the uh, there should be a mode on here where you can find out where there's a cable break. You know, you should be able to find out if there's a break in the coax cable, where exactly, or roughly, how long down the cable it is. I know the 600 does that, but this one I haven't figured out yet. Well, just it's just an initial look at it anyway, but it is a beautiful. I really love this function here, this multi SWR, because it's so much easier, especially if you're tuning up something like a cobweb or a hex beam or something. You've got multiple bands. You just put in your like four of the bit, four of the bands in there, and just keep an eye on them. Uh, like and it works a treat. Um, I was using, I've sold it now, but I was using a Feature Tech, uh, a Feature Tech AW50, 150 was it? A bit like an MFJ clone, but without the meters on it. I had one of them, uh, and I also use this. Uh, this one I want. I needed one for HF, and I want. I've already got one, <coughs> which takes me right up to 2.4 gigahertz which is this one which is notoriously difficult to turn on but if I just show you that if I pop that one in front of there see this one here is the 
AAI N121 SA. But this thing will go right up, right up to um, top band, uh, to top band, up to uh, 2.4 gigahertz, which is ideal for the QO100 station. I shall do another video on that one at some stage. But this one's all about this one, the Mini 1300. Can't recommend it enough. Absolutely lovely bit of kit. If you've got the 600, good enough. If unless you're planning on going on to 23 SEMs, I wouldn't bother getting the uh, getting rid of the 600 and getting this one. Um, but if you haven't got one and you want one, get one of them. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, well, hope that helped. I know it's not that informative. I just wanted to give you a little rough idea of what we got on the screen here. We got inductance capacitance meter. Um, it's me, uh, reading everything off the uh, the loop there for you. Uh, what else we got? This is like, oh, uh, I'm not sure how to use this thing yet. <laughs> you can even read USB. Why I don't know. Signal generator. Want that? Okay. Uh, Whisper FT8 JT65 mode. Now let, I wonder if I put it on FT8. Just hang on. Now that should be listening. If that's got a receiver in it, I doubt it. I'll have to look into that one because at the uh, I think it only transmits at some crazily tiny amount of power. I think it's a transmitter rather than the receiver, you know. But I shan't test it out right now because it's on the, uh, a non-transmitting antenna. But anyway, I love it. It's great. Hope you love this little video. Um, I have yet. This is the thing that people don't do. And I ain't done it yet. Not yet. But whenever you get something like this, it can do so much more than you realise. If you read the manual. So, that's the commandment number one. Read the manual. Especially, you're going to go put in comments on Facebook for uh, Facebook posts and forums. How'd you do this? Uh, try reading manual page two. Oh, God, I see that so often. Like you know, like just simplest questions. Oh, this is going to turn into a whinge now. Simplest questions you can imagine. Turning up on various Facebook groups. I don't even bother with the forums, but on the Facebook groups that I manage. How'd you do this? I was, hang on a minute, and what do I do? I go on Google, I get the manual, do a search, woof, there you go, oh, look on manual page 5, oh, and if you haven't got a manual, if you bought a radio and it doesn't have a manual, believe me, you can download it all over the place, so, anyway, that was nothing to do with this video, this video is to do with this lovely bit of kit, which I'm just going to stroke, because it's very, very nice, anyway, if you like the video, please subscribe, click the like on it and if you want to see more please click on the notifications and then you'll know whenever I post any more until then bye bye for now M0 NMC 73